Hey there, this is Erica Torres Duziak, and I just wanted to give a quick update, real quick. It's been 10 weeks since I had my fat transfer to breast surgery. And if you're watching this, maybe you are interested in getting fat transferred to your breast. Maybe you've experienced um, breast implant illness and you're curious and you've been following my journey. In either case, just wanted to give you a quick update on where things are. So in my last video, I kind of talked about some of the imperfections that came with having the fat transfer surgery, such as the lumps and bumps on my arms and on my stomach. And so are you curious to know what happened with that? It's like a drum roll. It's the gosh darn same. <laughs> I would love to tell you and report like there's been some improvement or it's a little bit better, but no. Um, I have remained consistent in getting lymphatic massage. I myself have been massaging it, using oils and all sorts of things and pushing it and all, all things I can do. Um, I've recently thought about maybe getting the fascia blaster or some other kind of fascia roller. If you have any idea, if that would help, love to see your comments below. Um, totally open to ideas, but no, it's been the same. Again, it's only been 10 weeks. Um, my therapist says, you know, with time, I just would have expected six weeks later to have seen some improvement. So a little disappointed about that. Um, my son asked the other day, mom, um, did you get hurt in your stomach? Because it just looks like I have like these bruises and you can't really tell that it's just kind of bumps on my tummy. Um, it just looks, I don't want to say mutilated, but it looks funky. Um, so not too excited about that. As far as the actual breast size and how things have kind of shaken out, um, I'm pretty happy about that. Here's what I will tell you. The worst part about going through that piece of the experience is that when you get the fat transfer, you know, you go from, well, in my case, I went from seeing myself with my implants, then took those out and seeing myself that way. And then, um, you get this fat transfer and as you're going through the decrease period, um, it's a huge tease, right? Like, huge. Like I remember two weeks out, I was like, whoa, this is awesome. This is amazing. And so I really wish I wouldn't have been teased. And the doctor says, don't look, but come on. I mean, you got to get dressed every day. Um, so that was difficult to see them kind of back to where I felt like they were and then to kind of go back down. But had I just went from, um, right before my surgery to where they are now, um, I am happy with the results. They, uh, the doctor actually feels like um, I think I kept more than he expected. And I can't even say I really measured myself at a bra shop um, before I went to surgery. All I can say is I know I have increased at least a cup size. So that's positive. Um, even though it doesn't seem like you can tell very much in clothes, but... All that to say, that's okay. That's just more on the vanity end. And if you're watching this, there you might be, you know, interested in the appearance piece to this. So, um, what also is interesting is that I remember doing a video saying there is no way I would ever recommend or go through surgery again. It's funny how uh, you forget the pain and your mind starts going, well, you know, I could have another surgery and get a little bit more there, and so. You know, who knows what will happen in the future? Probably nothing, but that has crossed my mind. So I have quickly forgotten about the pain of the liposuction part of the surgery. So in all in all, would I say that it was worth it? <clears throat> That's difficult because I feel like I just exchanged one undesirable for another. So wanted to have um, more fullness, got that. But in exchange, now I have lumps and bumps on the back of both arms and my tummy. So, um, yeah, that's still, that's still out there. I'm not sure. Jury's out on that. Um, as far as how I'm feeling, uh, since the explant. So now that's been, I don't know, 10 weeks plus, you know, 12 weeks. So 22 weeks ago, uh, I would say doing pretty well. I have 
gone down a lot of my vitamins. I actually recently gone down on my hormones, so a lot of things I'm not taking anymore. Um, my energy seems to be pretty good in the day. Still not able to run or jog at all, because the last time I tried that, um, I wasn't able to do that. But I, I am able to do strength training. I've been able to do that like three times, four times a week, and I haven't been able to do that in years. Um, and I'm still walking. So those are all really good signs. So I don't regret my decision. Um, I didn't realize it would be this difficult and I had this much attachment to, um, I don't know, that part of me. So whether it's my breasts or just the image of myself in that way, I just didn't realize I would be so attached to that. Um, and it's been difficult, I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's, it's been, it's been difficult. And most people around you um, who have not gone through this, they don't really get it. Um, to them, you know, they're not... They're not you, and um, they may not know what it feels like to have to have uh, felt like you were, I don't know, um, I don't want to say living in one body and then and looking different. And, um, you know, other people don't realize that, this, but we're our own, you know, this is about us, right? So, uh, yeah, seeing myself look different and going through these changes has been difficult. Just like if somebody got pregnant, and I've had two kids, so kind of that same thing you feel when you're like eight, nine months pregnant, you're like, oh my gosh, my body's different, and I'm changing. And then you have the baby and your, your body's still not the same and you're like, oh, well, it's kind of like that feeling, but yet I know that there's really nothing I can do to go back to the same look I had before. So, um, and I've been very uh, breast aware. It's like when you're going to buy a new car and all you can see is that car everywhere. Well, that's how I've been with breasts. It's like all I see and all I'm looking at. So I'm just looking forward to the day where I don't really care about that. And that is so unimportant to me. Um, because in the get in the big scheme of life, um, it's really not that important, but so I'm going to stop talking about it and stop making it bigger than it is. So I just wanted to give those updates how I'm currently looking, how I'm currently feeling. If you have any questions, um, definitely put your comments below and I will get right back with you. I'll send another update, um, I don't know, maybe in a month or two or so.